welcome to Sarah Stamp and Retreat. So it's not very often that I show my face on camera, <laughs> but I was supposed to do um, my first ever Facebook Live on Thursday night and I was all ready for it and then the sound wouldn't work. So instead I'm going to record a video and I'm going to just take you through the new catalogue. I'm going to show you some um, cards and we're going to make a project together with some new stuff and then um, especially for my customers I'm going to draw a raffle at the end. So let's get on and have a look at the catalogue. So if you are one of my customers then you will have received one of these in the post. If you're not one of my customers but you like my videos or you'd like to shop with me then you can find a link to an online copy at the bottom of each of my blog posts. So there's a link to my blog in the description below and you can just click through and at the end of every blog post is a link to the catalogue. So I just wanted to talk about, I'm not going to go through the whole catalogue, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about how the catalogue's laid out and how you can use the catalogue. So there are a lot of suites in the catalogue and a suite looks like this, so it's a lot of coordinated products. So for example on this one you've got these stamps, you've got the coordinating dies which are shown down here but um, you can also turn to page 158 and see the dies up close. And then you've got these papers. And again, you can turn to the relevant page. So in that case, page 130 and have a look at those in more detail as well. And then you get a load of different samples showing how different ways to use it. So it's really inspiring. So you can buy the things individually. You can also buy a lot of things are bundled. So for example, this is a stamp and a die bundle. And you can also get stamp and punch bundles. And when you buy a bundle, you save 10%. So for example, the stamp, if you bought the stamps and the die separately, they would be £53, but they're actually £47.50 when you buy them in a bundle. So you need to use this special code for the bundle. And if you want the whole suite, so for example, in this one, the whole suite is this bundle. Um, the Beauty of the Earth papers and a bark embossing folder, which is this embossing folder here, which uses which gives this lovely impression here. So if you want to buy that whole set, then you can just put in this one number and it's £67.50 and you get the whole lot and that includes this discount as well. The other thing that's really useful with the sweets is that it tells you which colours um, relate to that suite. So all those colours will be found in the papers and it's really nice then because you can buy the coordinating inks or cardstock or whatever you need for your project and you know that it's going to coordinate really well. So you can actually see all of our colours in the back here. We have some colour collections, we've got our brights, our neutrals, our regals, our subtles that move from one catalogue to the next and they're kind of our core colours. We've got our basics as well. And we've also got our in colours. So this is the 2020 to 2022 colours. So those were released last year. Um, these are 21 to 23. So these are our new in colours, brand new for the catalogue. And so then next year those will go there and we'll get some brand new ones again. The colours this year are really gorgeous. So I've just got the inks and the cardstock here. I've got the um, stamping blends, which are our stamping up alcohol mark coming in my order which will come on Tuesday. And you can also buy stamping right markers so stamping blends are our alcohol based markers and stamping right markers are our watercolour markers. You can see these are the gorgeous new colours. So we've got evening evergreen, soft succulent, fresh freesia, pale papaya and polished pink and they come with these coordinating cardstocks. And you can see I've actually just stamped them there so you can see the actual stamped colours of the inks and they just coordinate really nicely with those. It just makes putting your projects together so much easier when the inks and the cardstocks and the pens and the patterned papers all coordinate really nicely. And then this is kind of the start of a back section where you get all the kind of accessories and things. So this is our gorgeous stamping storage. I actually, I keep my inks and 
pens and stuff in the living room so I don't have a craft room so they're actually on display but they actually look really nice because I put them in colour order and it kind of looks like a bit of a feature in the living room um, so I think that for me this way of this storage kind of makes it into a feature rather than just being kind of shoved away somewhere and then this shows you all the bundles so so when you buy a bundle of ink pads you get 10% discount the same way you do with the stamp and die bundles so if you buy for example all of the brights which is 10 ink pens that's 63 pounds but that makes them six pound 30 each as opposed to seven pounds each and the same with the um, refills so once you've bought the ink pad if you ever run out you can buy the refills that go with them and you fill them up and I actually use the refills for um, different techniques as well like spritzing that kind of thing so they're really useful too and then you can get um, all the stamping right markers come in packs so you buy a pack of brights or a pack of neutrals you can also buy all our markers together in one pack and then we've got these brand new pastels which I'm really excited about they're also coming in my order which comes on Tuesday and our watercolour pencils. I'm not going to take you through everything in the back but I just want to show you a few bits and pieces. So we've got our stencils and our embossing paste and our embossing powders, spritzers, our blender brushes which you'll know I love and here are all our designer series papers. So you can see we've got absolutely gorgeous designer series papers and we've got the ordinary ones that are really beautiful but don't have any extra textures and then these are kind of speciality ones that have the foiling on and we'll be using these ones later so you'll see some of those love this ombre glitter card stock this is all our kind of packaging bits so actually I'll show you these here these come in a pack of eight and they're actually a bit bigger than I think they look on there so they come like this and then you can add all your decorations and stuff to make them look even more special so you get eight of those in a pack and the lids and the bases come separately and you just put them together really simply I'll do a video on it one day and those are three and a half by three and a half by two and a half inches and they're actually food safe as well so if you're making like little cookies or cakes or something like that that you want to gift to people then this is a really nice way of doing it I'm really looking forward to receiving these jars as well I've got those on my order and I just think they're a really cute way of storing embellishments and things like that they're also actually food safe so you can put food in them as well now we've got a few gorgeous ribbons and embellishments some of these gems are to die for I've bought quite a lot of gems actually and our stamparatus and our stamping blocks which are really nice they're like rounded at the edges so they're really nice to use and our punches got loads of gorgeous punches if you are in the market for a new pair of scissors i would definitely recommend these they are sharp all the way to the point got mine here you can see they're really sharp all the way to the point love them and our cut and emboss machines and our embossing folders some really gorgeous ones and then you can see the die bundles and you actually get even more examples of things that you could create when you get onto the pages with the die bundles So I'm going to flip back to the beginning because I'm going to show you, I did um, a swap with some of my team and essentially what we did is we each made six cards and we sent them off to each other and then we got six different cards back in return. So I've just got a few things that I can show you that have been made with these sweets. So this one has been made with the Beauty of the Earth sweet, and this was made by Jess and she's used these stamps she's also used this embossing folder and just brushed some color over it and if you look carefully she's actually stamped this sentiment in two colors and just kind of offset it a little bit which i think is a really nice way of doing the sentiment 
And then if we go to the pansy suite. So Mel's made this gorgeous simple card with this pansy suite. Um, and she's used the papers and then just put a die cut on the top for the sentiment. So that's a really nice simple card. Then we've got this Simply Elegant Suite. And if you're one of my customers, you'll have received a card that I made with this stamp and the thank you. And I've actually got a video showing that. So if you would like to see how, it, how it's made, I've got a bulk make video that I released on Friday. So it'll be the video before this one in my videos. And this one is made by Jenny from the team. And so she's used this paper here and one of our embossing folders and some of the trim as well to create that. And then Sarah made this gorgeous card here. So she stamped these look in the background and then she's used this main image on the front. So that's made that really lovely card. And then there's this gorgeous hand pen suite which has got really beautiful papers, the stamps, these dies. And I've got a couple of cards to show you using this. So this one was made by Kerry and she's used this stamp here and coloured it with the Fresh Freesia. And she's used this here too, look. And she's used some of our tags dies. And actually the same bark embossing folder that was on the first card. And you can see this die down here is this die here. So that comes in the set as well. So that's really pretty. And then I've got another one here that Belinda sent. So it actually folds flat and then it's got this clever little kind of clasp here for that to sit on. And she's used one of the Memories and More cards. I'll show you those in a second actually because they're really lovely. And she's just cut out some, um, some flowers and used these background pieces. So she's got quite a lot of die cuts in here. It makes a really pretty card that then just stands up like that and it's really cute. So let me just find those Memories and More for you. So this is our memory keeping section. You can buy um, the folder and these to kind of pop things in, but I actually use these cards to make greetings cards and you can get the coordinating card blanks. So the card blanks are just very slightly bigger than the cards themselves. So you can pop them on the card blanks and you get like a little border around the outside. So you can get these plain ones and you can get these ones that coordinate with these as well. And these are actually what Belinda has used for her card. So you can see that this started off as one of these card blanks. And then she's used the some of the memories and more cards to just cut out some pieces. And she's made this gorgeous card out of it. So that's a really nice idea. So let's move on to making a little gift box. So I'm going to go to page 68 because these are the papers that I've used for it. We're going to make a little gift box that looks like this. So if you are one of my customers and you've got a catalogue pack, then you'll have got something that looks like this in your pack. And inside you'll find a piece of cardstock, a piece of this gorgeous pattern paper, and two bits for butterflies. So let me just show you these butterflies a second. So these... Butterflies come from these brilliant wing dies and you can see this is one of these. So this is actually one big die that cuts out all six butterflies. So you might, yours might not be the exact same size as mine, yours might be one of the other butterflies, um, but everyone will have a butterfly. And then this detailed piece comes from these dies, these are actually all separate and you've got a few extra dies down here as well. I don't know if you can see those very well, let me put it a bit closer to the camera these ones here so if you have a pack then your card will be pre-scored because I know some people don't have scoreboards at home but I want to show you how to make them so that people can make them if they didn't get a pack and also so that if you want to make some more you're able to so this piece of cardstock is seven and a half by seven and a half inches and you may have got different colours because I, um, I did the colours to coordinate with whichever pattern paper you got on the top. So I'm going to score that at two and a half inches and at five inches. And then I'm going to turn it round and score again at two and a half and at five inches. So I'm going to put that to one side 
so I've got this six by six inch sheet and I'm just going to leave it just slightly away from the edge and then I'm going to score it at three quarters of an inch and one and three quarter inches and I'm going to turn leave it a bit away from the edge again and score at three quarters and one and three quarter inches and turn it again three quarters and one and three quarters turn again and I'm always making sure that it's flat against this top side so that I know that I'm scoring in a straight line and three quarters and one and three quarter inches so I'm going to bring my base in again and I'm going to fold all these lines And then I'm going to cut this about a centimetre away from the score line. And I'm going to cut up to this score line. And then I'm going to cut along this score line right the way to the to that score line. So you get this flap here. So then I'm going to do this one and I'm going to cut about a centimetre away from the score line and then I'm going to turn it and cut right the way up this score line. You don't need to worry because it doesn't matter whether your flap is in on this side or on this side just as long as every corner has a flap. So again about a centimetre away from the score line and then right on the score line all the way up to the next one. And then again, I'm going to cut from here. And it doesn't matter if it's not exactly a centimetre. It's just kind of a rough eyeball, just so that you've got a flap. And it's big enough to put a piece of tape on. So then I'm just going to cut a little triangle out of each of these corners. So then I've got four flaps and they've all got little pieces out of them. And just cutting those little pieces just makes the box go together more nicely. So it is worth doing. Then I've got some tape. Um, you can use glue if you like. Um, you just need to hold it for a little bit longer. I'm using tape because it goes together more quickly. But if you've got glue, then just use glue. And I'm just going to pop that on all of these flaps. And then what I want to do is just take that off. If you're gluing, I would glue them one at a time. So just put a bit of glue on and then do this and then put some glue on the next one. And I'm just lining up this score line with the edge of here. So let's just take off the tape and line it up. Then I've got my lid and I hope that you can see the score lines on here because I know it's a bit difficult because it's so shiny and it's what makes it beautiful but it does make it a little bit difficult for seeing on camera. So I'm going to fold all of those and hopefully that will help us to see them a little bit. And I'm just using my nails to fold them but you can always use a bone folder or something like that if you have one of those to hand. And then what I'm going to do is I hope you can see this on camera so I've got a square here and it's made up of four well two rectangles and two squares really so I'm just going to cut up this side I'm going to cut up to the second score line so then I've got this big flap here then I'm going to cut off along this first score line there and then along this score line I'm just going to cut to the first score line and then I'm going to cut off this piece. So you'll see I've got a step there and then I've got a flap here. So let's do that going on here. So we're going to cut up to the second score line. Then we're going to cut along this first score line here. Then we're going to cut off this rectangle here. 
and then we've got a step and a flap. And again, it doesn't matter which way your flap goes. It doesn't matter if it's attached to this piece or this piece. It will work either way. Just as long as you have a step and a flap in each corner. So then I'm going to cut a little notch. And the little notch is just going to go up to that first score line on each of these side pieces and each of these little flaps so each end piece just up to the first score line and each flap and again we're going up to the score line so that's all our cutting done so let's bring our tape back in and what I want to do is, on the shiny side, I want to put a little piece of tape on each of these small tabs and I want to put it right next to the score line. And if you like the other side of your paper, the not shiny side, better, you can always fold it in the other way. And you just, so you just put the... Um, you just put the tape on the side of the flap that you want to face outwards. So if you wanted this piece outwards, then you would put the tape on here. I love a bit of foiling, but I know it's not everyone's taste and other people might prefer a more matte finish. And this would actually make a really lovely masculine gift box either side I think but imagine giving like a nice pair of cufflinks or I don't know if a watch would fit in here I'm not sure um but it's a really nice gift isn't it a really nice gift box so I'm just I've folded these out so I'm now putting tape on the side that you one on the inside so I'm having this on the outside so this will be my inside paper so this piece of tape is going next to the edge of these flaps and it's going on the other side of the paper so the reason that we do this is just to reinforce the box so a it makes it stronger because it we're doubling up the um, the paper on the sides but B it gives this really nice finish because it's a rounded edge finish as opposed to otherwise you would see this edge which just isn't quite as nice so I tend to do these reinforced edges on most of my boxes because I just think it gives a more professional finish to them it makes them look a bit more luxurious so now it's test time to see if you've done all your cutting accurately so that fits nicely on top of there, look, we've got this gorgeous box now. And now it is time for the butterflies. And the butterfly is really simple. All we're going to do is pop a bit of glue. I've got my trusty Tombow glue. I'm just going to pop a bit up the centre of this butterfly. And I'm going to pop that onto the black butterfly. So your butterflies will coordinate with your papers. So she might have gold butterflies, you might have copper butterflies, and they might have different background colours as well. So then I've just popped some glue on the back of there. And I'm just going to pop that on the top of my box. And I have put too much glue on mine. That was not a good way to show you how to do the glue. But luckily it dries clear so what i'm going to do i'm going to talk you through um some of our promotions i'm going to draw the raffle prize and then i'm going to come back to this box and hopefully by then that glue will have dried and you'll be able to see that it's clear and it will look beautiful so the we've got two promotions that are running through may and they're both really good for if you have a big shopping list which i know a lot of people do with the annual catalogues 
So you can see this chart here. So this is our normal Stampin' Rewards chart. So Stampin' Rewards are given to you when you check out. And if you spent over £150, then you get at least 10% of Stampin' Rewards. And that means that you can choose 10% of your order value in free products. So for example, if you've got £150 order, then you get 10%. So then you've got £15 to spend on extra products. And that works whatever whatever price it is. So £175, you get £17.50 to spend on extra products completely free. And that goes up. So at £275, you get 12%. At £400, you get 14%. And at £400, you not only get 15%, but you also get a 50% off item. So if you've got a big item to buy, like, for example, the Many Marvelous Markers or a whole set of um, blocks, then you can get 50% off with that. And if you spend £525 or more, then you get 16% of stamping rewards and a 50% off item. So that actually comes to a lot of money when you've got those big shopping lists so this one's all the time but we've got an extra promotion during may where if you spend over 200 pounds you not only get your 10 percent, but you get an extra 20 pounds so if you place a 200 pounds order then you'll get your normal 10 percent. So you'll get 20 pounds already that you would normally get and then you get an extra 20 pounds so you'd get 40 pounds of free products for a 200 pounds order which is essentially 20 percent extra products so that's a really good offer if you've got a big shopping list the other offer that we've got is a joining offer so if you fancy becoming a demonstrator so if your shopping list comes to over 99 pounds i would recommend that you join my team and become a stamping up demonstrator because for 99 pounds you can get your starter kit and you can add 154 pounds worth of products just in may normally it's 130 pounds to your starter kit and you get free shipping so you get 154 pounds of products of your choice a business starter kit which you can choose to use and build your own business or you can choose to ignore there's no pressure to buy anything else after that so it's just like placing an order but um, you'll become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. That means also that if you do want to place some more orders, you will get 20% off, that's after VAT, and you can just use that for yourself, or if you do want to build a business, you get some great resources to help you build a business. You get at least 20% off, and then how much you earn increases the more that you sell. So there's some other really nice benefits to being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. There's loads of groups where you can share, fa um, share crafty, ideas and business ideas um so you can really do what you want with it you can just use it for your own personal discount or you can use it to build a business so if you want to join my team there's a link in the description below and if you want to ask me any questions before then send me a message um i'll pop my email address in the link below as well and if you'd like me to call you then pop your um, phone number in the email and I'll give you a call as well so I'd love to have you on my team um, so that's another option if you've got a shopping list that comes to over £99 so let's draw the raffle so the prize for the raffle today is £10 off your next Stampin' Up! order so if I draw your ticket then send me an email and I will let you know how you can get your £10 off. So I'm just going to shake these up a bit. And let's pick this one. And it's number three. So if you've got ticket number three, then send me an email. My email will be linked in the description below. And I will let you know how you can claim your £10 off your next order. So let's bring back in that gorgeous box. You can see that's really pretty now that my splodgy glue has almost dried now I'll just pop in this one which I didn't put the butterfly on as well so you can see this is one of the other colorways that I sent out the gold with the gray so thank you so much for joining me today I really hope that you enjoyed the project and having a look at the catalog like I say give me a shout if you've got any questions I'm always available on my email I'll get back to you as soon as possible if you enjoyed this video I'd really appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe 
to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will notify you when I've got new YouTube videos available. I'll pop all of the products that we use to create today's boxes in the description below. And I'll also put a host code there. So if you want to purchase anything, then pop the host code into your basket before you check out and I'll send you a free gift after the end of the month. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.